Hi, I'm Sharon and I'm a brand new archer and I'm just getting set up. I just bought my bow. I got a Diamond Archery Edge 320 in the purple color. It has some black on it also. And I wanted a case to match, but of course I couldn't find any on the local markets. So I bought this um, Plano case at Bass Pro for $39.99 and I'm going to attempt to spray paint it in a purple camo. Let's get going. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is spray the whole case with a primer in white. And then I have three shades of purple I'm going to use. Um, French lilac, silver lilac, and grape. And those are, a couple of them are satins, one of them is a gloss. Then I'm going to also throw on some satin white and some matte black and maybe even some metallic silver. And then I'll finish it all off with a matte clear coat for protection. Over here I have an assortment of different plants that I got from my yard. Uh, cut off a tree, I think we'll make some, some sticks and some pine needles. Um, I think they'll make some interesting shadow effects. And then I've got some artificial leaves. And uh, I think this one. This one's gonna look really cool. So this is a, an artificial part of a plant that I had hanging around the house. So I'm gonna be using those and trimming them up as needed if they don't spray well. Okay, so I used one can of the primer and I didn't have quite enough so I just finished it off with the regular um, satin white. So it says it's paint and primer all in one anyway. So I finished it off. I'm going to give it 30 minutes to dry and then I'm going to start coloring. Okay, now I'm going to start painting with all the different colors um, in, in a random pattern. So here we go. So I'm trying to leave some white areas. Okay, so I got some of my colors down and I actually <laughs> couldn't wait so I did a few stencils which you can see but once this dries a little bit I'll, uh, I'll show you how I do that. So you go pretty much you lay your stencil down and if you're laying it on a light area you want to spray, spray a small spot with dark and if you're laying it on a dark area, you kind of want to spray it with something light. So after this dries, I'll come back and I'll do some stenciling. OK, 
okay. Um, my base coats are done. I sprayed some different colors all over the place. And now I'm going to do a little bit of stenciling. So this is my first time doing this. So let's see how we're going to do this. I'm going to go in a light area and put some black on it. And voila. It's kind of cute. I'll do a little bit over here. I'm going to go just keep layering things until I get a pattern that I like. That's cute. Okay. I'm going to. Okay, I'm going to try this um, branch. Okay, well, I got all my stencils done and all my layering, and I think it came out pretty cute. You can see a lot of the different layers. And if you want to do more, you just do more. It was a fun project, and I hope you'll give this a try at home. I'm going to let it dry overnight and then I'm going to spray it with um, a clear coat, a couple clear coats probably. Thanks for watching. Okay, so here's my final shots of my painted bow case. I'm really excited about it. I think it came out really good. And uh, I think I might make another one soon. <laughs> Let me get around to the back. Uh, it's, the light isn't that great, but. pretty cool and my husband made a, a quiver thing <laughs> so that's pretty cool too thanks for watching bye bye